The next thing, though, is, Matt, what you were actually doing within those delves, because you, uh, you were... You're deceiving us! You, in fact, went into the delves to do something else, and that was to test the Hunter rework. So, we have a video coming out on this tomorrow. I recorded it last night. Things certainly seem quite promising. The bit that actually... You know, of reading... Of reading, um what you prepared for the video. The bit that got me was the uh, c consuming two stacks of precise shots uh, with eagle talons, whatever. Eagle talons, true focus, yeah. Because yeah. it would always be you, um, you know, you have so many stacks of that, you're sitting there in true shot, and it's like, how the fuck do I spend all this shit properly? You're swimming in aim shots and you want to press aim shot, but you know you shouldn't because you need to fire your two arcane shots off. Yeah, and, then and it just doesn't feel good. Your focus is getting weird, and then you're like, well, I need my focus back, so rapid fire. Oh, no, I've got six... I've just wasted like four sh yeah. aim shots. Fuck. My and life. it felt like, I mean, honestly, it felt unfinished to me because that was a clear like point of friction within the play experience. Like, I mean, basic usability testing, you know, where our rotation has created this situation. The user doesn't really have enough inputs to manage the situation reasonably. It just feels like that's a bit of the design that, did, that doesn't work. And they didn't do anything about it for years. But now it does work. So... At least works better. This is... I think the story of a lot of classes is them fixing resources and how the resource load. Now that they've got talents in a decent enough spot, or did anyway, and have the buttons in a good spot, they're focusing on actually making sure everything works. The, what they say here about solidify rotational gameplay... Because uh, to hop to another example very briefly is uh, Unholy Death Knight. Oh. Unholy DK. I hated playing that. I played it on beta and I went, oh, this works now. Oh, it works now. Oh, thank God for that. Hmm. Uh, I haven't played it extensively, but with them changing, like, so Sudden Doom doesn't make your death coils free. There's a couple of different things about, like, uh, like, rune, rune power generation, rune power spending, they fix them. And it feels more like, oh, I have the right amount of resources now. I'm not swimming in them. I'm I not mean, sitting... Makes sense. Uh, I'm not sitting screaming at my runic power bar to go away because I'm overcapped. Uh, same happens in Frost, and they saw a little bit of that as well. And a lot of what they did to Hunter, to me, at least for marksmanship and beast mastery, is fix that. Mm. There's a huge amount of, oh, it just flows. Now, all three still have, and I think this is a little bit of the war within development philosophy, and I wish, I really wish I could, like, sit down with, like, the class designers and, like, and, uh, like for like an hour or two hours and be like listen could we please talk about all of your philosophy behind all of the decisions you're making because you make all the decisions with intentionality what what is the goal am i right in suggesting this is the goal um and there's a lot of them have too many buttons now not too many buttons key bands, but a lot of like here's a 20 second 30 second 30 second 45 second button to press and you kind of just piano them kind of roughly at the right time you don't really hold them very much because you want to get them fired off but then your core, a couple of buttons, but they've wanted to refine that substantially. So, looking at Beast Mastery, uh, actually, I'll go down to Marksmanship because that's like the, the, the thing here we're talking about, right? So, they said they were pleased with the effect, but they worked a concert kind of wrong. Precise shots, aim, aim shots at a hard time finding it with everything else. So, the, re the redesigned Eagle Tidal's True Focus is basically you fire one Arcane shot and it uses both of your stacks to fire an extra one. Spare it. Like, it's weaker, but it, it is just your, like, you do aim shot, Arcane, aim shot, Arcane, aim shot, Arcane until you're out of aim shots or out of focus and then you rapid fire to build it back up. And it is very, very, very nice. It is substantially better during True Shot, but also focus generation being different and the focus cost and some things been lower and being different across your abilities. And having things that, because uh, obviously you already had Death Chakram, but Death yeah. Chakram being a good button you press, it doesn't cause focus, gives you time to build back focus. I almost never needed to use Steady Shot. Hmm. I just had focus when I needed it most of the time. Because like Black Arrow doesn't cost very much, Explosive Shot doesn't cost very much. So I was using those okay, perfectly fine. Um, there's like, you don't even have, you can even, you can even go without the talent that gives Steady Shot focus generation. So you can just be like, don't need steady right, shot. Just pure filler. 
yeah it's hmm. complete filler um now you, i don't know if you will still probably need to use the what's it called the uh, steady focus whatever it is the two steady shots and it'll give you haste you might still want to use that as like a maintenance buff i i tried without it to see if i could like not use steady shot and that was fun i wasn't super capping on aim shots even with the odd reset from black arrow i was just like okay well i'm actually i can use aim shot when it's up i can press arcane shot and use my things uh generally fine rapid fire i didn't need to use all the time but it was always there when i needed it. i was never sat there going where's my resources mm. or i have too many resources it just felt like it flowed quite nicely maybe different if i was uh doing aoe because multi-shot cost and stuff like that may be a yep. bit different but uh but then you'd have like barrage which does rapid fires now if you talent into that which would be nice that so, at least yeah that visually must look quite <laughs> neat mm, just because can, can those then trick shot and then move to other... I don't know if they can trick shot, actually. Okay. Because I'm just imagining, like, mm. five streams of arrows, then all trick shotting yeah, I, around I, I, I the I never place. tried to trick shot the barge rapid fire. Um, um, yeah, yeah, explode the servers instantly. Yeah, so that, as well as, like... Now, I know people have issues with the wheeling arrows now passive. It now, every 20 win arrows fires, turns your aim shot into a wheeling arrow. There's a couple things with that where it doesn't inherit all the bonuses. So, like, you say you're, um, uh, muscle memory, sorry, for, your muscle memory is aim shot arcane. You'll just be like, aim shot, but it's actually a willing arrow, and then you'll throw an arcane that's not buffed. Oh, fuck shit. Which is kind of the thing, maybe it should probably do that as well. Uh, and also having the interrupt portion of it being like, well, you can't save that anymore. You can't hold the interrupt portion mm. of it if you need it. It's just, oh, you, you just launch it. And it's just full send mode. But that generally, it just felt way nicer to me. Now, I didn't play around too much with AoE stuff because I didn't do dungeon. Um, how's it going to be? In introduced? fairness to them, AoE was, uh, you know, that would have been one of the gameplay high points. I think where people would have said yeah. that the trick shots mechanic genuinely felt really good to use. Um, because even being somebody who was quite grumpy about the BFA changes, I did always think the trick shot AoE, uh, the gameplay was pretty good. Yeah, but I'm still like, pretty grumpy. Kill zone's cool as hell. Sounds like I have less reason to be grumpy. Yeah, kill zone is an oh upgrade to your volley. Don't and turn me back into a hunter main. I was worried for don't a second. I was like, that. man, I could play hunter, hunter again. Yeah, please don't. Although it would explain a lot of things if I, you know, if I was just honest with people and played a hunter because that's what I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're hunter. Yeah, hunter. You know, people are like, why, why is this paladin playing WoW well with the brain of a hunter? Mm. Yeah, why are you wearing the wrong skin? <laughs> Effectively. <laughs> Yeah, so like I genuinely I think that uh, marksmanship is in a much 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 better place, and it's mostly down to minor improvements, which is like refinement is what makes a game. Like as long as you're working with decent enough clay to begin with, yeah. refinement can make it fantastic, and it definitely has like. I'm not going to play hunter, but hunter is now no longer a class that I never want to look at, and it has been since BFA. Same in every way. Now, Beast Mastery is interesting because it's mostly it's fantasy working. changes and kind of pushing different directions for gameplay mm -hmm. bonuses. Where um, kind it of a, you see, I'm feels out of the largely loop. the same, but I'm out yeah. of the loop in Beast Mastery. From like most of what I remember with BM, it was very basic core rotation. The only asterisk to gameplay was basically don't spam Corpora shot and waste all your focus, and that was basically it. It's um, sort of the same. In that you can just spam Cooper Shot and be a dumbass. But it's kind of keep your frenzy up, obviously. Mm -hmm. Three stacks, which is easy now. Because with one talent, which increases the duration of Barbershop by two seconds, the duration matches could line. So as long as you don't do anything stupid, you can just keep it up the whole time. Then you've got the so you still got the talent, which you can play without if you want, the auto shot. Uh, crit reset percentage Aye. on Barbershop, that's still there. There's also a bunch of other resets for it across the talent tree and across your hero talents, like Black Arrow doing that randomly and Pack Leader doing that randomly. So you don't have to worry about your frenzy stacks ever dropping unless you make a big mistake, which I think is like, it's in, it's, it's gauging enough as a, you will throw your Barbershots out to build it up and then you'll maintain it. Um, Beast Cleave is just, you know, you multi-shot or barge. Now you can barge to keep your Beast Cleave up and then just cleave, continue yourself as usual. 
you've got all the options for your Cobra shot to reset kill command. You can kind of take the full reset during Bestial Wrath. You can take the additional cooldown reduction from somewhere else, which probably isn't really a good idea. I'm not super sure about how like the balance of it and the numbers work out. But what is different about it is Dire Beast having this like every third Dire Beast calls one of the yes. Valor Yarwolves or one of the uh, Haiti and yeah, Val- 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 Halls of Valor place. So there's Hattie, who is the the one that chased the moon in Norse's Lord to try to eat it and succeeded during Ragnarok. And Fenrir, who was Hattie's father, Skull was the one who chased the sun, but it's not in game. Hattie gives your pets 15% damage for the 8, eight to 13 seconds, depending on talents, that it's up. So if you know that you have your third Horn of Valor or your third Dire Beast coming up, you might want to hold it for your bloodshed or hold it for your bestial wrath or something like that. I didn't really do that very much because mm-hmm. I don't have weak auras to track them on uh, beta. I was just, you know, full send all day long, whatever, and hoping for the best, and it seemed to work out okay. But there is a lot of that kind of possibility for actually min-maxing your stuff and damage windows there if you want to go into the into the Basilisk color and the Bloodshed and the Dire Beast build if you want to go that way. Or you can go for something that's a little bit more simple, Call of the Wild, and just do that core, reset your kill command, reset your barb shot, keep that flowing. That, on top of having either pack leader's list of passives or black arrow and then explosive shot and death chakram, just means you've got your core rotation, but you've got enough buttons to just kind of come up and go, fire me, I'm cool now. Which is very... Um, I was looking at it design-wise thinking, eh, this doesn't really seem like it's all that good. It doesn't look like there's much going on. There's not a whole pile that like, looks very, you know, it doesn't feel like it comes together that much. And then I played it and it was like, no, this, this, this is good. This is chill. This is chill. Not, chill. Th- not this is making my brain go on fire and have a good time. But me just be like, yeah, this, this, is, this is nice. I'm doing my, doing my base cleave, doing my kill command, yeah. and sometimes I'm just like, fucking random bullshit, go! And we do need some of that uh, in the game. Suits yeah. different player profiles, and sometimes I think you just want to chill with your class and enjoy the fight, enjoy the content. BM is so a very something about content the enjoyer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, that's, yeah. Sorry. I was having BM thoughts, but I've realized those are a decade ago because it's Blackrock Foundry. So I mean, even even the same with like I am out of date. Like a murder of crows now being passive every couple of kill commands. That, you see, that's nice. But it doesn't doesn't. I never reset. enjoyed pressing murder of crows. Murder of crows was just a bullshit go, yeah, and then it, and then it reset every time you think. So you use like a mild optimization to use it towards the end of a mob. Which is like, yeah, that's fine. It was just a GCD I sometimes yeah. did. So it's just a wee bit more of like the like they say here the wild caller part of the fantasy. Yeah. That's a little bit more. Yeah, you can just fucking summon some boys in. The only problem that's annoying me is Stampede been gone. Because it's not in the class tree and it's not in the spectre. And you're like, Stampede yeah. is cool. That was the that was the Rexar ability. And it's gone. That sucks. Uh, but yeah, like there's a, there's a bunch of other stuff with the class tree that I, I didn't mention. Like the Serpent Sting been gone. But it's now part of your spectre in different individual ways. A bunch of improved defensive and things like that are quite nice. Um, it's a very, very good cluster. It's a very, good, it's a very fun one to navigate and pick stuff out of. It's, it's very, very much not what it was before. It's very flat and wide, so you just kind of go, oh, a little bit of that, 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 and we'll have some of that. Which you'll notice a lot of class trees are that way now. Maybe inspired by the shaman tree that was maybe the first one to do that, but the shaman tree probably, hopefully, will get an update soon because it's not perfect. It's a wee bit weird, but um, BM's good, marksmanship's good, and survival is certainly interesting. Uh, <laughs> I really like it. Uh, I think it's great. I think losing the wildfire bomb effects, like shrapnel bomb and stuff, is very disappointing because they were really cool. It's super unique. And, and and so, okay, so that's gone. What have we got in return, and what's the implication on the second-to-second gameplay? So well, there's Tip of the Spear, which is every kill command adds 15% to yes which has been redesigned from its uh prior form yeah you know you kill command it's 15 percent extra damage on your next other ability stacks three times so you go kill command kill command you're building up focus at the same time and then whatever button you decide to press yeah we'll do whatever extra 45 percent extra damage way more during corn coordinated assault and things like flanking strike get a bonus 45 is a pretty big number yeah that's a especially like you'll notice that if, if that's yeah. a crit I guess, you know, sometimes in a while you end up, there's just so much shit going on, you don't notice anything. So it's important mm. if you 
actually play by the rules, yeah. and then maybe you do get your crit, and you get a big, massive, happy yellow text. Yes, uh, Wildfire Bomb is not gone. Wildfire Bomb is a poor part of the rotation. It's just the additional effects, like the Shrapnel Bomb and the Poison Bomb. That's gone. It's so, now so, just, right. it's now just, here's a bomb that doesn't just bleed. Just a bomb. Here's a bomb that doesn't bleed. Um, or there's like a dot effect, which, like, uh, the first tier, the tier four set bonus from the first tier of this expansion is 10% extra Raptor Strike damage during or while the Welfare Bomb's on. So that's for your Mongoose Bite, big mm -hmm. Mongoose Bite, Welfare Bomb, Mongoose, 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 Welfare Bomb, Mongoose, 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 stuff like that. Um, but the... Like, the Kill Command, Tip the Spear thing, it, like, has even bonus, like, extra bonuses with Flanking Strike. So there's a lot of very small things you can do to kind of uh, optimize your damage in, like, kind of fun thematic enough ways. Like, I really like the, oh, you tell your pet to attack, tell your pet to attack, tell your pet to attack, now you flank together. It's, like, yeah. it's just a cool thing. Like, yeah, me, uh, my little dude, whatever, my little dude is, kicking some ass. It's very nice. Um, but like Fury of the Eagle, for example, building up three kill commands into Fury of the Eagle feels nice. It doesn't feel great because you're probably super overcapped and focused then. That's one of the things that's annoying about Survival of the Minute is you uh -huh. play around this certain, like maybe you need more abilities to spend focus because it's just, you kind of get trapped into the, I'm just going to mongoose bite all day long because I have infinite focus problems, especially with procs and things like that. But uh, Tip the Spear is a very, very strong... I haven't played with Spearhead at all, which is just you and your pet go do some shit. But, like, it's a pretty compelling talent tree. The rangery idea, which is that they have more... They they use more explosive shot. They use wildfire bomb. They kind of the gr grenadier fantasy a little bit more with the serpent sting as well because they like serpent sting basically the most often because it's applied with raptor strike and mongoose bit. Uh, so you've got your... Like, what do you call it? They should make their more abilities cost focus so mastery actually buffs them. Incorrect. They've changed their mastery. It is now <laughs> versatility. Their mastery is now versatility. Yep, so it's basically. increased damage done, reduced damage taken. Yeah, with a double effect when you're twenty within twenty five yards of your pet, which you are. Yeah. And they, <laughs> so, they have a pity timer on that, which basically means it's always going to be active. Yeah. So I think it's like if your pet just goes to Narnia, you'll still have it for like six or eight seconds. Yeah. And it's not purely versatility, because versatility has that like 1 to 0 0.5 or 2 to 1 ratio. This is a way different ratio. It's closer to like uh, a third maybe. But it does it does make you feel tankier as ability. I will say it does give you the good. I'm a range standing in danger zone problem. Because that was always the thing. It's like, I'm a melee. Do I have any defensive buffs to make me good in melee? No. <laughs> no, you just die. Okay. Which is actually fine now that you've got um, what I call you've got your two survival of fittists. You've got... Well, you have to feign to use it, but camouflage is a damage reduction, which uh, yeah. is a bit more of a PvP thing, I think, for, like, being hit, you know, when a, you're in camo. A, a PPP? PvP thing? I thought you said PPP, and I'm like... What a the PPP, fuck, yes. What the fuck did he just say? <laughs> yeah, survival <laughs> yeah. can survive. Yeah, that's a thing. Survival can now survive better Shocking than scenes! <laughs> Shocking! It's finally yeah, happened. So I think it's, it's, one, it's getting close to one of my favorite specs in the game. In a bunch of ways. Whoa! Because it has, like, fantasy stuff going oh, for it. Oh, I'm getting wet last year. Yeah, it's got fantasy stuff going for it. It's like, the now the carve's gone, it's just butchery is just a thing now, but then butchery makes your next raptor or mongoose cleave. So you can, like, build up a mongoose bite. And like, th some of this fights with each other because you've got wildfire bomb to mix in, you've got your explosive shot to mix in. At the end of coordinated assault, coordinated assault your fucking explosive shot has no cooldown and no focus cost for a bit. So you're just like, bam, 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 especially when it explodes after you, if you hit a target with explosive mm -hmm. shot, with explosive shot, it insta bursts. So you just explode shit everywhere. You throw a load of fucking grenades all over the place. It feels really like, kind of nuts, especially with like, uh, what was it, when your kill command resets, you fire off an arcane shot. Uh, yeah. Which is just a cool, you know, little... So little yeah, when it, so when it resets, not only do you have like a nice little flash in your screen of, oh, your thing is right. reset, but then you shoot a thing. You also go, pow, pow. Yeah. yeah, those Which, those like yeah. auto things, like you know, whenever you're playing a rogue and it's just like the animation of the you know the quick shot that then goes back into the melee. Yeah, that always felt really satisfying. Um, and I guess another thing, yeah. So serpent sting is um, you know passive now, right? Yeah, it's so applied. how Serp serpent sting in because uh, I know serpent is applied by uh, aim shot. It's applied by aim shot for mark if you've talented it, you could yeah. just not. It's apl it's applied by aim shot. It spreads. If with another talent from an aim shot 
For Beast Mastery, it's applied with Kill Shot, or every five Cobras or Multis applied as well. So you can kind of do that. But then obviously it's got the... And your Kill Shot can reset your... Kill Shot's got the resets, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, for Survival, it is applied and spread by... In the same way it is for Markmanship, which is Aim Shot, apply, Aim Shot on a poison target spreads. It's that with just your um, Raptor Strike or Mungus Bit. So it's just, you just basically, if you choose to have it, you always have it. And then there's a bit where for every uh, dot effect you have on them, it's called Outland Venom. For every dot effect, you do extra crit damage. Mm. That's another thing that's kind of, I don't talk about much because it's more of a, it's like a more of a gearing thing and more of a m number crunchy thing. But crit, a crit stomps oh, are yeah. way up for yeah. hunters. They hunters talked, have a load um, of bonus effects that just work. In their post, they talked about the scaling of secondary stats for hunters. Yeah, that's one thing they've been trying very, very hard with. Um, is it here somewhere? Yeah, improves secondary stat scaling across all hunter specializations. There's a lot of a crit does bonus stuff now. Or not just don't bonus stuff, but like you get like 4% more crit from all sources in the class tree, stuff like that. Yeah. Things like that. Uh, Carve isn't the choice. No, the butchery now, it's baseline. Yes, that's very nice. So you can kind of take butchery and bust, buff it up a little bit, or you can just be like, nah, I'm okay. I'm cool. I'm cool. The fun thing is like butchery giving your, because I was talking about earlier, butchery giving your mongoose bites and your raptor strikes cleave. Yeah. So you can like, say you're building your mongoose bite to five stacks. You can build it up, and then now you, you'll need to kill command to regain focus during this. But you can then go, I've got my Mongoose on this target. Okay, Butchery, big Mongoose Cleave. Butchery, big Mongoose Cleave. Kill command focus, Butchery, big Mongoose Cleave. It's full of things like that, especially when you've got that kill command weaving in the middle, yeah. which is applying tip of the spear, which is giving you bigger... Butcheries or bigger mongooses, depending on how you like it, intersperse yeah. kill command. It seems quite tightly designed, and I suppose with that new tip of the spear, I can see why they've decided to remove the wildfire bomb stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. this and the wildfire bomb would make this the most convoluted chain yeah, so existence. Yes, it would be total bollocks. Yeah, yeah. so it is just a decision to change that out. Um, so I suppose, but, like, um, a larger theme that people may have noticed through mm -hmm. today's show, and it is rather shocking. This has been, like, the Happy Matt. Their, this has been the Happy Matt day. Their ability to refine has shown <laughs> up in beta. Big um, yeah, time, big time, big that's time. really heartening. Like, to hear the Delves, because we, we do have this default thing of, like, I'm sure Delves will have a few interesting ideas, and, you know, they'll, they'll try pretty decently, but it's World of Warcraft, so somehow through the cosmic process of it being an MMO, it's somehow going to be shit and people will be angry about it. Um, but... That's not happening. It's not happening. You're playing and it's fun. And and like hunters again, this seems like a really damn good refinement. Hunters are hunters, druids, and paladins are the most important specs for them to get right because they are the classes. Sorry, because they are the class that are played the most, and they're the ones that people resonate with the most. Largely speaking. Uh, now, obviously, there's some self-reinforcement there. We're like, Druid's had flight form, so everyone plays it. So just for people Pals to understand there, yeah. Hunter, 10.5%. If I was to do level 70 only. Okay, Paladin, 10.8%. Druid, 10.8%. Hunter, 104 The next is Warrior at 89 Then it's DH at 79 So you yep. can see the percentages of players playing a class. They really fall down rapidly after you go past Paladin, yeah. Hunter, Druid. What's Monk? Oh dear, Matt. Well, actually, it's not bottom. <gasps> Monk. This what? is this is per data for Azeroth. Monk is five point eight percent. Rogue is five point three percent. Oh my God! How the tables have turned. And Evoker. Jeez, oh, oh Evo of course, Evoker. Evoker lost, is four point four percent. Of course, Evoker will be lost even after the odd buff. Yeah, that's mad. But yeah, so that's the thing I've always kept. I've always thought about for a long time is those are the th those are the three classes everyone's always played in World of Warcraft. Those are like there's thirteen classes. Those three are thirty percent of the player base, or close to like like thirty two percent of the player base. So hunters being so scuffed for so long has been disappointing. But now that they're here, I'm like I expect people will enjoy these way way more. And way, I think way, that's way, way why Blizzard have historically been one could say a bit slow and not particularly confident. They've been worried, like yeah, been worried about changing them. Changing up hunter is 
big. Especially because all the changes they do to Marksman, clearly, like, every time, people are like, why are you doing to my goddamn class? Leave it alone. Yeah. It's kind of nuts. Because, like, Marksmanship, it always, to me, it felt like, you know, a Photoshop file. And you just, you keep on, you just keep on tweaking and you keep on, to, and it's just overworked and it doesn't really fit together. Whereas here it feels like they've kind of stripped a few things back, thought about some of the fundamentals. Yeah, um, yeah. Very much. I'm impressed. There is a bit of me that, look, would have wanted total gutting and, you know, proper redo, the modern hunter. But it does seem that actually the details have really made quite the difference.